Hi everyone, hope you're happy and well and uh, I thought I'd do something different today. So this is a new start of a series episodes where basically I've sent out a request on the Discord server. for So it's my Tap Titan Sorise game in Discord, I'll put a link in the description. But basically I said if you've hit a wall or if you need some help in the game, see if you're a new player. I'll uh, basically do one-on-one -on -one coaching, so I've asked for certain criteria, certain screenshots, and I'll do a one-on-one -on -one and then do a video uh, explaining about things that can uh, help change or improve just to help as much as I can. Now, this is just my personal opinion, opinion tips and guides to help you as much as possibly can. Uh, they're not perfect, but hopefully it'll put you in the right path. So the five main points ask is screenshots of your current build, passive skills, Equipment, so that's all your equipment tabs, pets, full list of pets, and artifacts. Uh, sometimes ask for a bit of extra information like your uh, lifetime relics and, and what equipment sets. But those are the fa uh, five main things used to help uh, help as much as I can. So I've gone to this new video series, which is uh, Soul Rise's Private Masterclass. Uh, let me know if you if you like this video. If you want to see more of this, leave a comment below. And if you want to be featured, if you want me to look at your builds, uh, this, again, it's join the Discord links description, and I'll do it once a week, maybe going forwards. Uh, let me know. Just send me a private message with this information. I'll, I will randomly pick the, the, the basically most needed help ones and uh, do a video on it. So this is a, a one to one. The first person who uh, contact me is e, uh, TWA. So he's kindly sent me a screenshot of all of his information. So he's, he's 155 skill points. At the moment, he's doing a hybrid of pet. Mostly looks like pet clan ship build. So there is definitely some tweaks. My own, well, I've own tips and experience, but also the main information is Tap Titans 2 Competition website. Uh, this is where I'm going to use most of the information. I would recommend to use this. Uh, I have done a video on how to use it exactly the information that optimizes the artifacts and tools. So this is the website. I'll link that video and this website below. So on this one, uh, I'll recommend because you have uh, TWA has a hundred and 55 skill points i would recommend the clan ship build he hasn't got skippable ads so i recommend clan ship pet heart madas so if you go to clan ship there's different types of examples i've also used ml mml h's artifact optimizer so you put in your, your <clears throat> information and it pops out what kind of recommended skill points so i would this is uh this is an example build but i would recommend to change it more towards this area so TWA if you're watching uh, you can update a little bit less in your night tree because you want to, well with a clan ship build you need a majority into clan ship and we've had a bit into rogue as well that helps with gold pushing a bit more uh, so I would try updating it if you've got the spare diamonds to this change it to that one so that's the first step I would recommend for you to do buddy so update your skill tree to this one uh, secondly, I'll go through the artifacts. Now he's given me, so these are the first one he's given me in his artifacts is quality life artifacts. The basic ones you can max out, so max at 40 and stuff like that. Uh, there's one called Infinity Pendulum. Um, it hasn't maxed out yet. I'll work, I'll just max it out if you've got time. It's best to just max all these, the ones that you can cap, just max them out and just forget about it. And the other ones, I can't quite read the levels, but I have figured out which which ones you have and haven't. So I've upgate, updated the artifact optimizer. So I've updated the artifact optimizer. So these are the ones you currently have and uh, I'll just hide the ones you're not using. Um, also put in your relics owns, total relics you have, uh, build type I recommend, which is can sip pet harbor das. Your current books of shadows level, which I believe Look at these information is 535 and uh, obviously the rest of the information is filled in. So I've pre-filled this in for you so you get kind of idea uh, what information should be filled in if you want to use this again in the future. So I do recommend using the Artifact Optimizer and all you need to do going forward is, is just basically update these little bits of information here. So your total relics, artifacts and if you change, if you get a stronger hero going forwards. So there's not much tweaking you need to do 
if you follow this exactly, just need to update that information in Toy Relics if you've got a new artifact and then your uh, hero. Apart from that, the rest of this will get updated. What you need to do next is basically update your artifacts to match this. So do a couple more runs. It'll probably take you maybe like five, six, seven, eight runs to level them efficiently. But uh, your book shadows looks to be quite high already. So that's great news. You have got that already high. So that's a good start. So leave books of shadows for now. You can update. You as I said, for example, your charge card should say its ideal level is 473. I can see you've got a level 100. Your uh, stones of Val runes should be at 690. You've only got that at 100. Your um, hero heroic shield, 424. You've only got that at 200. So there's already a lot of artifacts that can be optimized better for you. So just take your time and, and optimize everything you can see on that screen. Uh, to those to those optimal levels so i'm just going for it slowly so those are the ones there now once you've done all that the next thing i'll recommend is looking at your pets now on your pets again i've leveled up i've put information in clan ship pet heart of das the heroes you've got and the level of artifacts you've got you haven't got apollo orb or strange fruit or hades yet so that's why those levels are zero but when you do get those artifacts just update them and again, I've input all your pet levels in here, and it says the best pets to use. Your best switch pet is Cooper. That's your gold. So you should be using Cooper as you farm. And then when you get near to your max stage or it starts slowing down, swap to Basky. Now, Basky is actually your strongest pet at the moment. I've noticed you've got Cooper. So I'll swap it to uh, Basky, which is, you think it wouldn't be because it's right, right down here. But it's because you're going to be using a clanship build, which is hero damage. That's why you want your um, all hero damage pet activated. So that's why, because that's your strongest all, all hero pet damage at the moment. So actually, if you swap your pet to Pat, um, Basky, that would help push a little bit more. Um, I have noticed your pet levels are quite low. The reason I ask for people's passive skills, because it gives me indication on how much they're leveling, like how many tournaments they've done, how much they're leveling. And I can see your power surge is level three, which is your, that levels up by pet levels. And also by looking at your pets in general, uh, your pet levels uh, four and seven is a bit low. So again, if you've got any spare diamonds, don't buy equipment, don't buy chests, only buy pets. You should be buying your all, um, all gold, all damage, and then your fluffers and kit. I have noticed your fluffers is extremely low. You see, your fluffers is only level at eight, I believe. Uh, you need to get that up high. Uh, fluffers is mana regen, and high level fluffers is pretty much your main source of mana regen. It's going to make it, make it extremely hard uh, to use any other builds or even to use uh, clanship because you're activating your skills. You're going to run out of mana pretty quickly. So uh, make sure you're, you're getting those all damage, all gold, fluffers, and kit. Whenever you see them in shop, if they're not in shop, just buy, um, as I say, all hero damage would be a good one. But just buy, keep buying pets. The more pets you get, the better. Now, going on to lastly, your equipment. Uh, there's definitely some changes you can do. I've noticed on your, uh, so this is, first one I can hear is your, is your sword, helmet, chest, aura, and slash. That's the order of equipment. So on your slash, it's got uh, pet equipment. So you need to have clanship equipped. So because we're using a clanship build, um, this is what you're changing to. This clanship build would be much better for you. Uh, equipped your highest damage one should be deep freeze. Uh, you don't need the deep purple because it's weaker and there's no point to so just get rid of that. If you've got duplicates, for example, if you get another drop of clanship or pet, if they're weaker, just sell them for diamonds. Then you've got um, your aura. Yeah, you've got helmet slash sword. Uh, it doesn't matter, you always equip the highest one of this. These just basically boost the other ones. So this helmet boost will boost the helmet equipment. Your slash will boost the slash and sword will boost the sword, obviously. So keep keep that equipped, your, your lunar uh, faces, because that's your highest one in the thousands and that will boost your uh, helmets. So keep that. And also for your chest, you've got boss gold and chest and gold. Um, I will probably go towards chest and gold because well, I'll, ch I'll check between the two because Boss Gold has got 9.32. Cheston's got a lot higher. So I'm going towards the Cheston at 18.47 because it's much higher um, between the two. 
And also we've changed the skill build to have a point in, um, we've got Pet Half Madas main source and with uh, Spores of War, which is Chesterton. So that's why I'll go towards the uh, Chesterton goal because it's much more higher. So try that. You can equip both of them and look at your stats and look at your gold income to see which one gives you the higher output. So if you're not too sure, um, try both of them. Um, I'm leaning towards, I'm 90% towards Chesterton gold armor. But uh, again, to be 100% sure, look at your uh, stats. Uh, helmet, you're missing some there because you need to have at least one of each. One ranged, one spell, and one melee. Uh, you equipped the helmet when you're strong, wherever, wherever is your strongest hero at the time. So if at the moment your strongest hero, actually I believe you said Goldbrand is your strongest hero at the moment. So if we look at Goldbrand, see what type of hero he is. Yeah, okay. So there's a prime example. Now you said your strongest hero is Goldbrand, and he's a melee type ground hero. So when you eat your strongest hero, you have no helmet equipment, which means you, you've got no power, no power in it whatsoever. So that's probably why you're hitting a wall at the moment, because your strongest hero that you, you're max stage at, you have no equipment to help fight him at all. So whenever you get a melee, you need to have a minimum one of each. It doesn't matter if it's weak, um, you need to have it equipped. It would help you boost. Obviously, if it's arranged, it will give you a massive boost. But you need to have at least one of each and try swapping it. Uh, if it's ridiculously weak, it might not do as well as ranged. But having one of each is is a given. Hopefully, you get a melee drop soon. That's quite high, and you can just activate that, and that that help you go push a few levels. But that's that's what you what you're really missing there. And then you finally, your sword. Now you've got a couple of dupes, um, see so duplicates. For example, like you've got critical damage, five point one thousand, and then you've got another one at seventeen point three two. You don't need two of them to so delete the weaker one. Uh, let's have a look. All tap damage. So I would equip you all hero damage because you use, you're going to be changing to a clan ship build. Uh, activate your all hero damage for your sword. That'll be your best one out of all of them. Uh, so those are my main. Um, so going across your build, your equipment, your pets, your artifacts, that's what you need to do to change it to help improve. Once you changed all of them, uh, again, as I said, you've got to spend some time leveling up your artifacts. But once they're leveled up to the optimal levels, uh, you should be able to push quite fine. Uh, leave a comment, let me know, or in Discord, the feedback, how it went. I'll say it'll probably take you two couple days to update. Other tips, as I mentioned before, so in between tournaments, you should be keeping your books shadows level high, which you're doing in tournaments level up those artifacts get new artifacts any spare diamonds uh, level up your buy more pets get more pets essentially and level those up and uh, yeah just rinse repeat and that should help so that's uh, TWA I hope that helped you buddy so the uh, next person who uh, submitted their screenshots of uh the build, passive skills, equipment, pets, artifacts, all that lovely jubby stuff and helping is actually uh, someone who's already over 70,000 max stage. So this is going to be interesting because it's not a new player. It's a long time player, but they are asking for help. So I thought I'd have a look as well. Now, uh, this person, always down to eat, has a nearly 2,000 skill points and is still using clanship build. Uh, you can swap, once you've got over 1,000 skill points, you can swap to uh, Shadow Clan or Heavy Strike build but you need to have a good foundation for it. So you need to have very good passive skills and you need to have good mana regen. Some people even stick with clanship mainly because it's steady and strong. It's a bit slower, but it is strong. Uh, looking at your build, always done to eat, mate, it looks pretty good to be honest. You've got fairy, got a good fairy amount. The only tweak I probably could do is if you put skill points into poison edge to help with um, splashing through those bosses to get a bit through more. But because you've got quite a lot in Warlord, it probably wouldn't make much difference because uh, the rest is, are so leveled high. So I don't know how much of a difference. Alternatively, we could look at just changing the whole build altogether to a heavy strike build uh, for pushing. But that is an active build. So I don't know how of an active player you are. If you're happy to play more uh, on the actual game, uh, then that, that heavy strike build could push you um, a few hundred stages more. So that's something to look at. So we'll, we'll think about that. But for, for now, we'll look at your clanship one. So if we go in skill tree, not much I can change. As I said, poison edge. But if you don't want to go for that way, I don't think that would actually make much of a difference. You build itself is pretty sweet. Uh, passive skills are quite high. It looks like you've done, you were doing a lot of tournaments and raiding. That would explain 
uh, your uh, arcane level being quite high um yeah it's all looking pretty good no problems there oh, obviously you can get more pet levels but your pet levels look quite high when it comes to equipment i i noticed you're you're using the clanship build and you have a all hero damage that is higher than critical damage so i don't know if that if you tried swapping out to the uh, nightfall sword to see if that gives you more uh, damage input that's the only difference i can see with the sword is to maybe equipped in equipped and looking at your stats to see what the difference between your, your overall damage equip them both and see which one's better but you'd have to swap them out to see which one's better uh you've got <clears throat> again this one doesn't really matter because you've got one of each which is great so whichever is your strongest here at the time you just select that which is looks like you're already doing it so no change there fantastic uh, again uh cheston uh, boss gold well boss gold is your only alternative so again that's good so i'll keep that one on there and it's the highest level one as well so yeah no change to equipment there uh boost your helmet again that's the highest one but like i see you did it for the income for the the bonus so again probably no change there and you've got clan ship yeah apart from changing to heavy strike build with your equipment spot on um as i said when it comes to um people who've played the game for a long time there's not much criticism i can give because they're following uh pretty much everything spot on the only uh thing i notice is that your your pet's quite good a good pet level four thousand is quite good uh four thousand six hundred uh, i noticed you've got griff as your uh boss damage it's probably to help you splash through these bosses because it looks like you've gone towards the, the crit uh crit way uh, so level 70 now I have done use the pet optimizer and uh, I did it with because you haven't got a fatal samurai, uh, fatal samurai set now without it it says bash is your better one so your grand hero damage uh, it's probably because your current hero is Sawyer so if it's not if you're not at Sawyer then uh, boss damage is probably better but what is interesting is uh, if you do have fatal samurai set so if you do it was to get that as your next set, which might be a good idea. Uh, it says that Polly would be the gold source and Nova would be a damage. Now Nova is all damage are ridiculously high. That's why I was quite shocked that uh, I was suggesting Bash and Griff as you got uh, at low levels when you've got um, all damage really high. Um, I would recommend getting the Fatal Samurai set next because with that, if that boosts, well, that will boost the uh, pet levels that will help a lot more so you switch to poly for farming and when you get near to max stage switch it to nova so if you're thinking about getting a next mythic set i would go for fatal samurai uh, you should see a quite of a jump because of your pet levels so that'll be the only um well yeah extra i can probably give you now talking about your artifacts there, I've used the artifact optimizer as well, which what you currently have. So, did your uh, relic amount? Did you, what you have? I've leveled it. It says your uh, books of shadows are at twelve percent. Obviously, you can level that up, up higher to over fifty percent minimum. Uh, but apart from that, everything seems to be leveled like quite spot on. Uh, nine 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 six six six. So it looks like you're following this anyway, and that's probably just low because you're in, um, in between tournaments boosting up anyway. So it looks like you're following an optimizer. So again no criticism you, you've followed it quite well this this shows a prime example of someone that's using the tools online new tap touch to comp dms um as opposed to see a new player on we looked at earlier um so these these are the tools i would recommend to use because as you can see they optimize quite as well so overall you your artifacts are spot on i uh, can't see any difference 16 ag yeah you're following it spot on the only thing I do recommend with these optimizers is that um, you, you, know, you haven't left. Yeah, it's good. You haven't left, left any low. Uh, that's good. The only reason sometimes I notice what some people do is that if they, if you follow the optimizer to the T, um, for example, you follow clanship from the beginning, it leaves out certain artifacts. Um, and the main problem with that is that you lose some potential damage elsewhere. Uh, for example, like say if you follow just the clanship build, it would ask you to level parch of foresight because that's war quite high but then it leaves out stuff like heavenly strikes don't use it leaves it low uh, the only problem with that is that if you go do change the build for example heavenly strike you then got to spend like a week lev um, leveling up all your artifacts towards 
the heavenly strike build uh, so i do recommend not keeping those too low but it seems that you haven't so it seems absolutely fine so it's perfect actually so that's uh yeah that's great uh, to be honest apart from the pet i don't see much change apart from changing to a heavenly strike build and trying that if you want to if you do then obviously we can look at skill tree and optimizers for that leave a comment below apart from that always down to eat mate you're smashing it absolutely smashing it if you are um i said you are hitting a, a slow wall the only way once you've got all artifacts and all enchantments the only way to get through a hard wall is unfortunately when you get to the around about 50 60 stage when you do have all artifacts it, the only way to smash them through is by um winning first place tournaments completing mythic sets so basically start completing all your sets you got them all um or changing the build completely changing the build to say um well, I think the biggest pushing ones is a decent clan ship or heavenly strike. Those are the two main pushing ones. So unless you optimize them, uh, there's there's no it's just grinding, mate. Unfortunately. Uh, so that's all the feedback I'll do for that one. If you've got any other questions, uh, smash me up on Discord. And on to the next person. So the next person asked for um, assistance it was Ed Motto. Uh, hey Ed, hope you're doing well. Uh, so he's again quite a high leveler so he's uh got a clan ship fairy build uh this one he has the poison edge so he looks like he's got a bit of a uh, push towards the boss bosses so i'll go through i think i'll go through pets first because he's got pictures for that anyway so he's got his um strongest pet is harker spell hero damage and he's probably got spell hero damage because that might be the strongest hero he's using at the time um, at the moment, I've put it through the pet optimizer and it says the strongest um, being zero. That's because the, the last he, uh, he mentioned, Ed mentioned that his strongest hero is Beanie. The reason why it would be suggesting the best hero being zero, even if it's a low level, is that the passive abilities. Because with pets, they have a uh, active and passive. So um, activating a lower level zero might give a stronger passive to the Harker. So both being spell uh, might benefit more. So that's why uh, the best pet could be zero. Um, I do also recommend, as in the last one, a Fatal Samurai set. Um, if you get that as your ne next mythic, or if you get it soon, it, it does change it to your best switch bin bubbles. So that's your gold. And it's still saying best, best pet says zero, but that's because of your spell hero. So obviously when you change your hero, when you get to the next one, it will then change probably to the next type of hero available when it comes to uh pet recommendations it you looks like you're doing spot on with what you're doing at the moment i uh, see your fluffers and kits very high you got your your demos or demos quite high all damage or gold so this is the four main ones i always say get get most of which is fantastic because their passive abilities are going to be max so that's that's well pretty high so it's really good uh, especially fluffers because if you do wish to change your build to heavenly strike build which could be an option uh, then that will help you out help out tremendously apart from that yeah your pets are, your pets are spot on buddy so it looks really good i can see uh, your passive skills um obviously a little bit more pet levels to get your purge up apart from that it looks like you're doing a lot of uh, raiding and tournaments so again that's good uh, when it comes to equipment or hero damage, absolutely good. Um, if you've got these ones, uh, I'll keep one of each, but you, there's no point keeping um, the weaker all hero or um, all damage all hero because it's duplicates. You might as well sell sell them a uh, for uh, more diamonds. Uh, second, same with this. You got a weak uh, melee hero, uh, weak range. Don't need them, so sell them. Apart from that, you're again you're equipped in your strongest to whichever your strongest hero it is, that's fine, I wouldn't change that. Uh, chest in gold, absolutely the same. Again, you've got three other chest in you don't need, so just sell them. There's, there's no, no point keeping equipment you're not using, so you might as well sell them from diamonds. But it looks like you've got any, uh, it looks like you're selling all of them, not keeping any any um, other sources. If you get any other, other decent sources drop, um, for example, like a boss gold and stuff, I would keep them. I will, I will rec recommend keeping at least one of each, just just because in case, for example, you do switch to um, swap builds, or if you do have, for example, like a good decent artifact, um, artifact a good pet switch that levels up that you might have to switch it with. So I recommend keeping at least one different type each, 
but for those other three weak chestnuts, sell them. You don't need that. Uh, same as like that. Looks like you've only kept your build type. Again, I would keep one of each, one of each just in case. But again, that still looks good. What you've got there. Uh, this again, sell everything that's weak. Just keep one of each, um, but sell all those duplicates. You don't need them. You got loads of diamonds, so sell that. Uh, all the extra diamonds you can use for buying more pets. So fantastic. Apart from that, lucky optimizer. Um, so your optimizer looks pretty good. You got a fifty percent books of shadows, which is good. Everything seems to be roughly leveled accordingly. Obviously, you can level up a little bit more your stones. Because uh, it says like 200, but apart from that, it's pretty much near spot on to what the optimizer says. So I'm guessing you're using the optimizer as well, the artifact optimizer. If you are, which it looks like you are, uh, everything's pretty spot on. I can't see any major uh, differences. It's 3.3. It's obviously um, evergreen stack could be increased. So you can, you can increase basically all of them a bit more, but you can do that in one or two runs anyway. So just follow the optimizer as it's suggesting here. For example, like heavy strikes at 2.75 G, but that's 1.85. Divine retribution, 2, uh, 240, and that's 338. So just basic drunken hammer, 165 AH, and you've got it at 45 T. So just, um, I said certain ones you can level up more. Uh, let's look at this one, strife's peace. So yeah, just level them up, like the optimizer says more. Apart from that, you're not neglecting any. They're all leveled up following the guide. There's nothing being left out that I can see. Yeah, it looks it looks all spot on. As I said, um the only only recommend only recommending recommendation I can do is just tidy up your equipment a little bit. But apart from that, the biggest thing would be as as a previous one, when you get to uh, mid game, uh well, at this stage, which is I'm guessing you're on about 50, 60 max stage well yeah look 68 so near 70 uh, max stage so when you get to that point there's not much more guiding i can really give you uh you've pretty much the only biggest thing you can do now is as i mentioned before uh start completing your sets so your mythic sets legendary sets uh or change build completely but bear in mind if you do change build you need to give yourself a few days to level up your artifacts towards that change build like being heavenly strike uh your mana regeneration should be high enough to deal with it so heavenly strike could be a good option for you but so uh, yeah that's there's not much i can um, basically update on that you're, you're doing really well uh if if you guys do like this kind of thing if you do like um me reviewing your your build your equipment your guides giving a private one-to-one -one. if you do like that uh, leave a comment below if you want to see more of these types of videos uh any more new players brand new players uh, who've just started i probably can help them a lot more uh, so if any of you just if you just started um or if you're quite low level and you hit a wall send me a message in discord uh, leave a comment below if it has helped like subscribe and hit the bell notification button so i could do more of these and i um, how often I can do them as well with your feedback. But apart from that, I uh, hope this helped a little bit and give you a bit of insight. And for those three people, I hope this helped in some way. And I hope you have a great day. Take care. Bye.